Hi, this is Edgejo, and welcome to another video in my series on Excel tips and tricks. In today's lesson, today's video, I want to show you how to use the uh, RAND between function. Um, the RAND between function is very useful if you want to create a set of data that you don't want to type in. So, for example, you will see that I've left the telephone um, column blank on purpose up to now because imagine you had 500 or 1000 or whatever and you have to type it in to test your data it's much easier to create the data um, that you want to use to test it with than to type in 500 or 1000 or however big your data set is. Uh, 10 obviously is not a big problem but um, you'll understand when I show you the principle. Okay, so as always every function starts with an equal sign so it's equal rand between and you can see it pops up here so I'm just going to double click the rand between and now you can see there's a bottom value and there's a top value so I'm going to set the bottom value and I'm going to use telephone numbers um, and I'm going to use so I'm going to say for example 787 um, and then I'm going to use a set of another seven numbers because there are 11 numbers in a telephone number but um, you would see I've left out the zero on purpose I'll explain in a second so I need seven more numbers that starts at a bottom value so I'm gonna go one two three four five six and seven then I'm gonna say comma and now I have to put the top value down and so I'm also gonna use the same series seven eight seven but this time I'm going to use all the nines so I need one two three four five six seven nines I close bracket and I enter now let me just double click that and there you can see oh yes can I just show you there quickly if you have a value that looks very strange like this one 7.87e plus 09 um, don't be uh, um, sort of puzzled or anything like that all that means is that the data the value probably does not fit into the cell it's not wide enough so you just um, use a, one of the methods I showed you before and you just um, auto set the width of the cell by double clicking between the two letters so there you can see there's my number um, the reason I didn't put a, a zero in is twofold one um, if you type in a normal number I'll just use the same number if I go 0787 687 3220 as soon as I press enter the zero will disappear because a number cannot have a zero to start with in this case now there's a few ways that you can fix it. Um, one of the ways that you can fix it is to put a zero in between, uh, in, uh, a single quote and a zero and then it'll tell the cell that do not ignore the zero. So I'm just going to press enter then you can see there's a zero in front. So you just put a single quote you put a single quote in front of the zero and it'll keep that value. So that's one of the methods that you could use. So let me just um, delete that. Doof, there we go. Over there. Every time you refresh, um, this is obviously going to make a new random number, but it's just for data set usage. And in a in a next video, I'm going to show you how to um, use a concatenate function to add a zero to join a zero to the rest of this number. So uh, in order to then, once you've created your rand between, in order to get the values. Um, fill down use the full handle you just go down and then you have the ran between function all the way through to the bottom and then you have random numbers easily generated so you can use it to test your data set so that is how to use the ran between function you go equal ran between you select the bottom value you select the top value and that is how it then works and you can use um, any range of data as long as there's a, a, a bottom and a top value I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you very much.